What's up you guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to code rock, paper, scissors in Python. Now you might have seen this in one of my previous videos where I gave you guys a bunch of beginner project ideas. But in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to loop it so that we keep playing the game until either you or the computer wins best out of n games, where n is something that you get to specify. For example, if n is three, then we keep playing until somebody wins two out of those three games. Let's get started. Okay, so we have our IDE open, and the first thing we're gonna do is import random, because we're gonna have to make the computer randomly select either rock, paper, or scissors. Now let's find a function play. And this is basically just one game of rock, paper, scissors and determining who wins and who loses. So the user is gonna be the user input. We can ask for this input by just using the Python function input. Let's ask the user, what's your choice? R for rock, P for paper, or S for scissors? And then we're gonna wanna lowercase that just in case somebody puts in a capital R. We don't really want the computer to register that as not a rock. And then we're gonna have the computer choose between the three different objects. And we can do that by using random.choice. So basically, we're selecting at random R, P, or S for the computer every single time. Now that we have what the user's input is and what the computer's input is, let's use some code to figure out who wins. So here you can see a chart where I've given you all the possibilities that you can input, all the possibilities your computer can input, and then what the result of that combination would be. Now the easiest one to see is that if you and the computer both choose the same thing, then it's a tie. Let's code that logic into our play function. So here I'm gonna say if user equals computer, basically if the letters are the same, then we're gonna return, you and the computer have both chosen the same letter, it's a tie. Cool, so we can cross that off of our list. And now we just have to distinguish between whether you win or whether you lose. And in order to do that, I'm gonna create a helper function is win and pass in the user and computer. And basically what this function is gonna do is just tell me has the user won against the computer. And if that is true, then I'm gonna return, you have, you've chosen X and your computer has chosen Y, you won. Let's define that function. So we can see all the different combinations in this chart that produce a win. So if you're rock and your computer is scissors, then you win. So defining is win, player, comma, opponent. Basically, we want to return whether the player has won against the opponent. And using the same logic that I just said, we're going to make an if statement. If the player input R and the computer chose S, or if the player chose S and the opponent chose P, or if the player chose P and the opponent chose R. Then in all those cases, we wanna return true. So in that if statement, we're gonna return true. Otherwise, we're gonna return false because that means that the player has not won against the opponent. Cool, so we've covered those cases. And now the only ones that are left are the losses. And instead of creating a helper function to determine the losses, we can just assume that the remaining cases are losses, which you could tell by the chart. If it's not a tie, if it's not a win, then that means that you've lost. And so at the end, we're gonna say, you chose X, the computer chose Y, you lost. All right, now let's just play one round and see what happens. So I'm gonna run the script and I'm gonna choose rock. All right, it's a tie. Okay, next game. For this one, I'll choose P. Cool, I won, woo! Now based off of that, how do we code a function that will allow us to play best out of n games? So first I'm gonna set up the function, I'm gonna call it play best of. You know that you've won the best out of n games when you win at least half of them. And so here we wanna round up. We're gonna use math.seal to get the ceiling of whatever number when we divide n by two. So for example, if, it, if n were three, then that would mean you have to win two games. If n were five, you would have to win three, and so on. So in this function, we're gonna initialize two variables, player wins and computer wins, and both of those are zero at first. And then we're also gonna initialize wins necessary, which is just the number that you get when you divide n by two and take the ceiling of that. All right, here's what happens when we try running this in terminal, and we just print out wins necessary. 
cool. So we get two and five, which makes sense because to win out of three games, you need to win two. And for nine games, you need to win five. All right, let's get into the loop now. So here we're using a while loop because we don't know how many iterations we're gonna need for one of us to achieve the wins necessary in order to win best out of n games. And a while loop is perfect for that because we can just say, hey, if either of us have one, then stop this loop. Otherwise, keep going. We're gonna change what the play function returns because we don't wanna have to compare strings. And so in each of these cases, instead of returning, it's a tie, we're gonna return zero for tie, one for player win, and negative one for computer win. And then we're also gonna return with that the user choice and the computer choice so that we can just print those out and show it to whoever's playing the game. So when we call the play function, we can set result user and computer to whatever it returns. And then result would be zero, negative one, or positive one. User would be RP or S, and computer would also be RP or S. Now we get into our if statements. So first, if it's a tie, that means result equals zero. So then we can print it's a tie. Otherwise, let's go into our win statement. So else if, else if result is one, that means that you just won. So let's print you chose X and computer chose Y, you won. But remember that we have to increment something at this stage or else our state never changes. So here we actually want to increment player wins because, well, the player just won. And then if it's neither of those, then you know that this means that the opponent has won. So then we can update computer wins and increment that and then print out you chose X, computer chose Y, but you lost. So then at the very end, once you've broken out of this while loop, if the player wins is greater than the computer wins, that means that the reason why we broke out of this loop is because you won. So we're gonna print, hooray, you won best out of X games, what a champ. But if that's not true, then that means that the computer has won. So we're gonna print, the computer has won best out of X games, try again later. So let's just go and play that in terminal, see what happens. I really hope I win. All right, let's go with rock. Woo, I won. All right, next choice. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, I lost. Okay, so it's one for one. It's game time, critical. Let's do this. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, it's a tie. All right, we still get another shot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, man, I lost. All right, let's play that again because I really want to show you guys a game where I win. Cool. So I just won this game of tic-tac-toe, best out of three. Oh yeah. Okay, so super simple tutorial today. My code is linked below. Check it out. Play this for yourself. Surprise whoever you're quarantining with. Yeah, and make sure to subscribe if you like this video. Subscribe for more tutorials, cool projects. You know, let's make coding fun. Thanks for watching.